Now at 1030, we continue to follow the crisis in Israel, taking a live look at Jerusalem right now, where it's about 530 in the morning. And tonight we've learned 22 Americans have been killed over the past five days. Right now, a local 10 year old is mourning the death of his father who was killed while defending his village in Israel. The child's mother is also reeling from the loss of her ex-husband and a close friend. Boston 25 News reporter Drew Kratis joins us live now with her heartbreaking story. Drew. Vanessa, her story of immense heartache is something that the Consulate General of Israel to New England here in Boston has been hearing a lot of since Saturday, helping families here at home and over in Israel. This local mother says the hardest part about this loss was telling her 10-year-old son that his father was killed. My heart is bleeding. I just lost my tears. I lost my voice completely. Of the more than 1,000 people killed in Israel, the father of Liat Vak's child was among the first casualties. I collapsed. Like my body couldn't hold me, I just collapsed. 53-year-old Eagle Vox and his younger brother, 48-year-old Amit Vox, both dual Israeli-American citizens, were killed when gunmen stormed their village of Nativ Hasara near the Gaza border. They tried to protect other uh, people and uh, they didn't have a chance. The family moved to the United States eight years ago, eventually settling down in Lexington. Eagle moved back to Israel after the couple separated. His ex-wife, who's still processing the magnitude of her grief, says delivering the grim news to their son less than a week before his 11th birthday was agonizing. This was the most difficult thing I've done in my life. How can you explain something like that? I just broke his heart into very, very little pieces. He lost an amazing father and he's devastated. She says she too is devastated after the village where she spent most of her life was ravaged in the surprise attack. She tells us her close friend was executed after hiding out for 60 hours and others she knew from her childhood are still missing. If you ask me, it might take generations to recover from what we experienced. Vox says she still hasn't been able to reach several loved ones, some of whom lost their cell phones in the pandemonium. Her ex-husband and his brother are among the at least 22 Americans who have been killed in Israel. We're live in Boston tonight. Drew Caritas for your local station, Boston 25 News. So, so, so sad, Drew. Thank